one is called Yukon Indigenous Community Climate Change Champions. What is the age range of the participants and who is the target audience? Uh, they were aged between 18 and 30 years and the target audience was First Nation youth from all around the Yukon. The goal was to get at least two male and female for gender balance from each community. What is the aim of the program? The aim of the program was to train youth and mobilize them on climate change initiatives and adaption strategies and just the global climate change that's happening around the world. Would you say this program is an example of excellence in Indigenous education? I would say that this program is a great example of excellence in Indigenous education because with this program it not only incorporates um, Western science um, methods, but they also put it into indigenous perspective, so they put an indigenous lens on just about all the material that was put to us. So they had it divided up into four categories, which was um, the elements of earth, air, wind, and fire. How would you measure the success of the program? Did you notice a change in the other participants? Did they have you sign an evaluation form? Um, did you give them any feedback about the program? I noticed that a lot, well, a lot of people who were a part of that program, uh, they never really heard about climate change or actually looked at it and didn't really think that it affected them at all. And after this program, a lot of them, uh, you could see it that they were talking about climate change and different issues and they even wanted to get a lot more involved in their own communities. So some of them were saying that, so that was cool. From your perspective, what is Indigenous education? Mm. How would you define the word indigenous? Uh, indigenous education. How would I define indigenous? Well, it's uh, the people that are from the area or the environment that they become a part of them and it becomes their character and... Um, would you <laughs> normally use the word indigenous? Uh, yeah, I would normally use the word indigenous. It seems to, because it seems to encounter or encapture everyone from like even around the world, like people in like Nepal or places like that, Tibet and stuff. They're a different type of indigenous, but we all seem to have common, commons, common, common things between us. How would you define education from in from an indigenous perspective? Uh, defining education, um, I guess there's like I said two different types of education. You can have like the western science and stuff kind of education, but indigenous education would kind of be like stuff that's passed down through generations and you learn through watching and being a part of something and you get something that you can like hold or question and... Um, what is your vision for the future of Indigenous education in your community? Mm, just seeing more youth and stuff more excited about getting, learning new things and stuff for their community and just seeing them get empowered by it. How about for Canada? How would you see the future of Indigenous education? Uh, with everything that's going on, we could use a lot more Indigenous education, especially concerning how people treat their resources, as they call them and stuff, and we look at them in different perspectives, like they got life, and yeah, just, I would like to see more, more of our resources and stuff more respected and taken care of, because they said... Somebody is saying that um, this life doesn't belong to us, but instead we borrow it from our grandchildren. Can you think of any types of information, material, resources you would need to achieve that vision aside from funding? I don't know. That's kind of a hard question. I don't know what you would need. A lot more youth involved, more people for those youth to go back to their communities and talk to other youth and get them more involved because they have a lot of energy and if they listen to their elders and stuff, they can get guided to those end goals but while using their energies and their wisdoms from their elders around them.